Good morning, church. There once was a university, a private university, that kids spent a lot of money to go and attend. But their internet capabilities were abysmal. Uh, they were incredibly slow. Uh, whenever, during at peak times of the day when most people were using the internet, it was, inc it was even slower. And they didn't even, did not even have Wi-Fi, except for a few places on campus. Now, for a school in the 21st century, that's a big problem. And it was a constant complaint of students and faculty alike. One day, the, a bunch of the higher-ups in the, in the institution met with the people who were in charge of uh, the school's uh, information systems technologies and uh, seeing what, what could be done. What's, what do we need to do to fix the problem of this, of, of this slow and outdated internet service? And the, 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 the manager, the IT manager, kept going on about how, look, it would, we would need to double the amount of money that we were spending on our backbone. I'm not sure what backbone is. I'm not a really techie kind of person, but I gauge it to be like kind of the, the main, uh, your, your, your main supply, I guess, of internet. If we're thinking about it in terms of like, like, like plumbing, that's your, your water main. So we need to double what we spend on, on this in order to get what you want. And the room was kind of dour because, oh geez, double. Ugh. That's going to be tough. But one person, one curious person, spoke up and said, okay, so we need to double our current spending. What do we currently spend on this backbone? The manager flipped through the papers and said, $56,000 a year. We need to spend an extra $56,000 a year to make the internet what it should be. That was, that was less than the tuition for three students to attend that university in one year. A lot of times, what you know, how we look at things are all a matter of perspective, right? In that instance, looking at something in terms of percentages seems daunting. I mean, double, double, that's, that's a scary number. But when they looked at the real numbers, it wasn't that difficult to do. Take that lesson for everything else in your life as well. If you look at something one way, it may seem insurmountable, it may seem terrifying, but if you look at it another way, it might not be as bad as you think. So that big life change that you're thinking about making, that thing in your life that you're thinking about shaking up for the good, that project that God maybe has put on your heart, that might not be quite as difficult as you might think. And you just might need to look at it a different way. Let's pray. Gracious God, help us to see things honestly and to look at challenges the way that they really are instead of the way that we fear they might be. Help us to have faith. Help us to look at things creatively. Help us to ask questions that will lead us closer to the truth. And let us always have confidence in you and trust in where you are leading us. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Thanks a lot, folks. Have a great day. If this uh, is a message that was beneficial to you, share it with your friends. Take care of one another. Keep yourself and others safe. And I'll see you next time.